hope that you all had a happy and safe holiday. Uh, now New Year's is approaching, so I wanted to create a very, you know, natural everyday look for that special occasion. I like it a lot. I like the skin. I think it came out really nice. And um, it's pretty easy, so let's get to the tutorial. I'm gonna start with my eyes first because I'm using glitter and it's most likely gonna cause a mess and it's just easier to clean up with no foundation on. So starting with my eyes. I've already primed my eyes using the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer and number one, this is waterproof. It works really well as an eyeshadow primer. So I put this all over my lid, all the way up to my brow. I wanna do a rosier gold eyeshadow look. So with that being said, I'm gonna go for my Lorac Pro Mega 3 palette. I've been using this a lot lately, but I love it, what can I say? At least I'm using it. Using a fluffier crease brush, I'm going to take the color Pomegranate, and I'm gonna put this right on my brow bone, going back and forth in a windshield wiper motion. I am extending it past my, my lash line. Taking a brush with nothing on it, I'm just gonna come right on the edge of that lash shadow going back and forth, and this will really smooth and soften the edge. Going back to my palette and a smaller crease brush, one I can really define with. I'm using the shade Rose Quartz, and let's do this one right in my crease. Now I'm taking um, eggplant, and this is gonna be like our edge and crease color. So I'm putting it right on the edge of the, the lid, and then coming into the crease. With a concealer brush and the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, I'm going to just put this on the lid and clean up the lid space so when you see the glitter, you'll get more true to color versus mixed in with the, the shadows. I'm going to be using the Eye Candy Cosmetics Loose Glitter in Taffy. It's a pinky gold shade and you want to get the liquid sugar, the eye candy cosmetics. I bought like a package deal where it came with this and the glitters. Uh, what you do is you dip your brush into this, then you dip it into the glitter, creates like a liquid, and then it's way easier to put on than a normal loose glitter. I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush. I just dip it into the liquid, then I dip it into the glitter and pat it on my lid. Going back to my palette and just taking a small defining brush with jet black and a little bit of that eggplant, add some darkness to the edge of my crease a little bit more. There's glitter all over me. Ah! Now I'm just taking a makeup remover wipe. I'm going to pick up and remove glitter. Once that's all cleaned up, I'm taking the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complex Primer. This has um, rosehip oil and argon oil to help give a deep hydration to the skin, but it also blurs fine lines, wrinkles, and pore size. I like to buff it into the skin using a small brush. For foundation, I want to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. I'm also going to mix in the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Prism Cream. So this is a self-adjusting luminizer and it actually gives you really pretty glow for your face or your body. I wanna have a dewy finish, so if I mix a little bit of this in here, it gives a really nice dewy look. Makeup Forever Flat Foundation Brush. I'm just applying the foundation all over. Once I have achieved a full coverage, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral. I'm just going to do some little dabs under my eyes, around my nose, my mouth. I don't want an extreme highlight, just a little bit of a glow.
I'm setting my under eye with the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder in Light. And I'm using a small shadow brush because I just want to set right in here. And if I use my sponge, I know I'll get it everywhere. I want to come right on the sides of my nose and then right along my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna come right along my mouth and my nose and then center of my nose. Okay, I'm going to work on my eyebrows. My eyebrows are calling my name. I'm using the Benefit Browsings in number two. I like this one because it comes with the, the wax so you can place it onto your skin and it really sticks and holds onto the powder. I'm growing my eyebrows out, okay? So just bear with me here. So I put the wax down first, then I go in with the powder and layer it on top. I don't even know what we're doing for New Year's. Last year, I think we went to the casino and I wanna say we won money, but I actually think we lost a bunch of money. So maybe I won't do that this year. This is probably as good as my brows are gonna get. I'm taking the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator in Devotion with a brush. Let's do the MAC 133 brush. I'm going to spray it with the MAC Fix Plus, get it wet, pick up the highlight, and dab it on my cheekbones. When you get it wet, it just makes it creamier and kind of blends into the skin a little bit better. So cheekbones right above the arch of the brow. Tip of my nose and then bridge of my nose ever so lightly. It's weird that I'm highlighting before contouring. I'm just all over the place today. Ooh! I like this highlight, I always forget about it. Sorry. This is a little sample palette I got of the Smashbox Contour Palette. You get the deeper shade, like the, t the bronze shade, and then the highlight color, and they're all matte. And I'm going to use my contour brush. Start with this shade right here. I'm doing the hollows of my cheek along my jawline, lightly across my forehead. As long as you work in sheer layers, the contour shouldn't stick to the foundation and get muddy at all. So just add a little bit at a time and then keep building from there versus grabbing a ton of product on your brush and then globbing it on because that's when it sticks and it gets really dark looking and not so, not so cute. Not so cute. Okay, I'm going back to my Lorac palette with the shade Pomegranate and a large shadow brush. I'm gonna bring this along my lower lash line Connecting it with the outer V. And then with my small shadow brush that I used for my crease, I'm gonna mix a little bit of jet black and eggplant. Connect the outer V of the dark. Did that make sense? Hmm. I want something to really pop in my tear duct. I just don't know what. Hmm, what should I do, what should I do? Now that these eyeshadows are super popping. Okay, I'm going to take the Urban Decay eyeshadow in Sin, small brush, my lower lash line coming into my tear duct. I'm layering it pretty heavy because at this point, like, why not? You know, everything's pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. I put mascara on top and bottom lashes and then followed it by applying false eyelashes. These eyelashes I actually made. I just took a boring strip of eyelashes and glued individual lashes to them and created this eyelash look. If I say eyelash one more time. I was gonna do like bronzer or blush or something, but I kind of like that it's simple. The skin looks dewy and fresh and the eyes are really the focus. I'm using MAC Lip Liner in Night Moth. I always just color in my whole lip with a lip liner so it gives a lipstick something to stick to. And then using the Makeup Forever Artist Acrylip Lip Paint in 501. Ooh, this lip is dark and vampy. 
And there you go. This is a look you could do for New York, New Year's. New Year's Eve, maybe, or not, or just for fun, going out, staying in, whatever your little heart desires. Just remember, it's just makeup, it washes off, so don't ever be afraid to just play around and try something new. It's not that serious. Thank you so much for watching. Have a really fun, safe New Year's. Make good choices, don't be dumb. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.